I could never have imagined that I would need my nursing skills more for my own children than for strangers. Wednesday afternoon, Lisa Solis DeLong, a registered nurse, spoke to fellow nurses and nursing students in Boykin Hall. Lisa had the chance to provide two profound life occurrences involving her sons Justin and Jacob. 15th birthday, Dave took him to City of Hope for his another treatment and it was discovered that his leukemia was back. In 2000, after a 10-year remission from leukemia, Justin would pass away. Six years later, as Lisa had finally found some closure, her youngest son, Jacob, was diagnosed with the same type of non-familial leukemia. I rebuilt my life. I'm happy again. I'm serving others. This cannot happen again. There's no way. Thankfully, Jacob completed his treatments and has been healthy ever since. During these traumatic periods of her life, Lisa found writing to be therapeutic. I just had to get my thoughts out of my head and on paper sort of too, and this is a good um, grief activity as well. So when you're tired of replaying everything and kind of being stuck in your head, you know, right? And so that's what I did, and, and I took writing classes. I took uh, writing classes here at COC, and um, uh, Floyd Moose was my, um, one of my teachers, um, and um, it was wonderful. Journal entries she had written at COC would become half of her book titled Blood Brothers which also paved the way for a career as an international speaker. I quickly found that the book was popular among healthcare professionals. And um, those early days of just getting used to telling my story publicly for fundraising purposes mainly, uh, really taught me what resonated with audiences, what, what did I want to share. Um, and so that was the beginning of speaking. Throughout her career, Lisa has used various techniques to help others heal including her passion for salsa. For Cougar News, I'm Rigo Carbajal.